Hello again, welcome back to another video. Um, so, la in the last video I showed you uh, a 3x3 three three door, that one, and uh, today I want to show you this 4x4 four four door in Pocket Edition. Um, so this one, it is pretty big compared to 4x4 four four doors in the, in the Java version, but, er, yeah, Redstone in Pocket Edition is quite different. Um, so, for one thing, quasi connectivity is gone. You cannot use one tick pulses to make sticky pistons leave your blocks behind. And in general, piston timings are way slower than in the Java version. So, yeah, it, it was quite a challenge uh, to do this, but it was not too difficult. So, I'll just show you it in action, so the closing is not too bad, uh, notice it works from the top and bottom to the wall extenders, not from the sides, uh, I'll sp explain why that is later. And now the opening, uh, the opening is pretty slow on the top, uh, and I probably could have avoided that, but I once I finished it, I didn't feel like changing it, so it's just the way it is now. And um, yeah, so for the dimensions, it is 11 um, high, 12 wide, and uh, well, 4 deep. So that means it is 528 blocks uh, in volume. So it's yeah, pretty big, but not too bad. I believe it's the smallest out there, just like the 3x3, three three, uh, in Pocket Edition at least. So yeah, I, uh, I also built it in the other direction just to make sure it works, because I have noticed some inconsistencies with uh, Redstone in Pocket Edition, like certain timings. Uh, sometimes work and sometimes don't work, which is really strange. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, now show you how to build this and maybe explain a bit how it works. So let's get started. So to start off, you want to uh, build your frame. So I've done that already, and then you can build uh, your piston layout. So you have two double extenders on the bottom, like so, uh, two storage pistons on the sides, and also on the top of course there are two double extenders and two storage pistons, and then side pistons, just four pistons stacked on top of each other, on the right side and on the left side. So that is your piston layout, and uh, now for the redstone itself. Okay, so you want to start off by placing two observer blocks at the bottom, like this, with the outputs facing into these pistons, and then two redstone dust like this, and a lever on either of those. And after that, on either side, a block with a 4 tick repeater. You go one block up like this, and make a shape like this. Place a 3 tick repeater on top of this one, 4 tick repeater on top of that one, and the rest of dust there. So, um, when you turn this off, or when you turn it on, I mean, these observer blocks detect uh, the redstone dust, and give a, a pulse to those bottom pistons. After a certain amount of delay, the storage pistons extend, and after that, um, these top pistons extend, so that is your closing. So you have that on both sides. Like this. And then, you want to place the dust down here, that is the reason 
you need a slab there because you don't want this dust to power that piston. So a dust right there and then a repeater output right into this piston. And that piston, that sticky piston has a chest on top of it. Uh, with oh, uh, an item inside. And then a comparator output from that chest into this block to uh, make sure that this storage piston is extended long enough so it can pull back the block at the opening. Okay, so you just want to mirror that on the other side as well. So a block down here and then a repeater output in a into a sticky piston with a chest on top with an item inside like this two blocks and a comparator Oops. so that is that for the closing and part of the opening and for the rest of the opening you want to place a block right here, or piston and a block, and then an observer block, dust on top, two four tick repeaters, into another block, and then a dust down here, and then a one tick repeater here, and a four tick repeater here. And then down here you want another sticky piston and an observer block facing upwards like that and then also a torch on the side of this block four tick repeater block and a torch and you will need a solid block above that torch so you want to just mirror that to the other side so sticky piston block observer block like this two blocks four tick repeaters Two more blocks, dust down here. A couple more blocks, one tick repeater, four tick repeater. Another block, and then down here, a sticky piston and a server block. And then also a torch here, four tick repeater, and another torch. So that should be uh, almost the entire bottom. The one thing we now need is the last pulse, so you want to place a sticky piston right there, an observer block on the side of that block, then a sticky piston facing upwards with a redstone block on its face, a block with a 4 tick repeater, and to this block and two redstone dust. And the same on the other side, a block, observer block, sticky piston with a redstone block, four tick repeater and two dust. That should be it, so it closes and it opens. So now for the top, which was a little bit more difficult. Okay, so for the, the top, we want to start off by putting two red sand or normal sand or gravel it must be a gravity affected block uh, which is also solid uh, and then you want to continue by putting a block here a torch and a repeater and then a dust right here to uh, get that side piston there extended and then a sticky piston uh, one above this sand block so that when this piston extends um, this repeater will power the sand and this piston so there is a redstone block on top of the pis this piston two redstone dust like that an observer block right here and then a slab here because we don't want to power this piston 
and then a block to this uh, top piston. Also, um, you will want a block and a vortex repeater here into another block with a torch, and then another vortex repeater, a block here, dust, and then on top of a wall block here, a one tick repeater, then a dust on top of this block, and then a four tick repeater, two blocks like this with resonance on top, and then a block so that this repeater will power that line. Then you want a two tick repeater going into this block right here. And you'll just want to mirror that to the other side. So, block, torch, repeater, block over here, then a sticky piston with a redstone block, four tick repeater, torch, some more blocks, four tick repeater again, into a block, redstone dust, one tick repeater there, and then another redstone dust on top of that block, another four tick repeater here, and a two tick repeater into this block. Then also uh, a block here, two redstone dust, an observer block here, a slab and a block and two more redstone dust. So that should do the entire closing, I think. And uh, yeah, next we'll do the opening. Okay, so for the opening, you want to start off by placing a sticky piston right there and an observer block on the side of that repeater, like this. Then a uh, a slab with a one tick repeater going into a block like this a little staircase down and two more dust so that it connects with that and also a three tick repeater going into this block then on top of your ceiling you have two redstone dust like this and also a dust uh, I mean a four tick repeater down here with some more dust down here, one tick repeater, a block, a torch, a piston with a redstone block on its face, and then a one tick repeater going into an observer block, with another one tick repeater going into another observer block and that going into this redstone line and you'll want to mirror that to the other side so sticky piston an observer block on the side of that repeater then a slab with a one tick repeater on top a block two more blocks with little staircase down make sure it connects then a three tick repeater going into this block and on top of your ceiling these two redstone dust um, it shouldn't connect but that'll be fixed by the observer block so on top of your ceiling uh, on top of your wall a four tick repeater another block with dust a one tick repeater going into a block with a torch on top another sticky piston redstone block one tick repeater observer block one tick repeater and another observer block if I can place it thank you um, so that should be the entire 4x4 I will test it to make sure it is the closing works and the bottom opening works and 
cup opening works as well. That is amazing. So now you can uh, tidy it up, put your frame in, and uh, yeah. So uh, it starts raining. That is pretty annoying about Pocket Edition. I don't think there is a way to turn off rain in Pocket Edition. I tried the toggle downfall command, but it didn't recognize it, so... But, uh, yeah, this is it from me. Um, in the next video, I will show you a 5x5 door in Pocket Edition. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to see more awesome redstone contraptions. And I will see you in the next video.